How is Toad completely and undeniably evil? The premise of these parties is one of the saddest cases of exploitation ever put to video games, and at the center of it all is the devious Toad, the manufacturer of more things than just harmless board games. Not only does he sell the product, he also retains control of it in cases of trading, winning, and losing. By creating the need to fill in the arbitrary title of Superstar, our fungi friend pushes the other characters into holding a Mario Party for his profit, built on the greed and selfishness of the donkeys and dinosaurs beneath him. Toad's main goal is to get players to convert their coins into stars. Coins are actual money, but stars are not. After successfully encouraging the characters to fight over a worthless product, Toad sets the price on these stars and waits for the money to roll in. Since the number of stars is the only determinant of who gets to be a superstar that's more popular than the other players, brothers turn on each other, scrambling for every loose coin. Additionally, Toad then engages in a form of rationing by forcing players to chase him around a board of his own design, bottlenecking the supply of stars by constantly repositioning his shop like a back alley drug dealer allows him to artificially keep the price of stars high, especially since the map is working against them. Not only is every single die roll predetermined before the game even starts, but the player who loses gets either plants biting them, rocks running them over, or smoke blowing up their skirt. To top it all off, Toad has an infinite supply of stars, stars which he takes back from players after the game is over and uses to restore his game board to pristine condition. So not only does he profit from his inflated stars, but he then forces players to use them for his own purpose. If he has infinite stars, he has a constant influx of money from free labor, and he doesn't need to worry about anything on the board. He's basically invincible. Oh. Oh wait.